Muy bien. Yep, he's right there, dude. That's a big one. Yep. That's a big one, dude. Oh! Oh! Dude, oh my gosh. Dude, there's a monster, Connor. Some, oh, dude. Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. Today, we're about to do some pond fishing. I got a special guest with me. Got my boy, Connor. What's, what's going up, on, guys? Brother? How you doing? Getting rigged up over here, excited. Today, we're at a pond that I haven't been to in three years, three to four years. And the last time I was here, I was telling Connor, I actually caught a 10 pounder. So, we're gonna be trying for some big ones today, man. That's the plan. You. And I uh, hope we're gonna end up getting one. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also the like button. If you guys have been enjoying the content, we're gonna go ahead and hop into it. We've been rigging right here in the back of my truck. Got a bunch of kicking rods right there. And uh, that's Connor's kicking rod. And he's got a black and blue chatter donk. Nice little trailer there. And I got mine over here. I'm actually throwing a white and chartreuse. Um, with a white swim bait on the kick in their bass combo if you guys want to check out any of these we got the bait casters and spinning rods and they're only available on kickintheirbass.com you can click the link down below i really appreciate it but yeah you ready I'm ready you ready to catch it. some big ones if you guys are wondering about the line too what do you have on yours uh like 15 i think it's 15 it might be 14. so you got 15 i got 17. my line is horrible guys i had a couple people commenting no what is, why is your line making that noise yet this line is so old and I actually just got my line in the mail today, so I'm about to re-spool a ton of stuff because we got a big trip coming up next week. But yeah, let me show you guys the pond that we're gonna be working with. So this is the pond right here. It's been so long since I've been here. I don't know what to expect. But yeah, just a small little place and it actually keeps going. So there's like a whole two other sides of this pond. If you guys are wondering, this is the new truck too. I don't know if I've showed you guys this. This is a 2023 GMC AT4 2500. Old diesel truck, I still got my old truck, but yeah this is this is the new truck guys so yeah let's go ahead and hop into it grab our poles and try to catch some fish all right guys i'm hoping we get a big one today i'm really hoping it i don't know what it is about this time of year but i tend to catch just a lot of big fish so we're gonna go ahead and get started like i said a little chatter donk 17 pound line let's see what we can do i'm hoping they just bite really good if you guys are wondering about the water clarity it's pretty stained in here it's got a little bit of vis visibility, but it's fairly stained. There's usually a lot of grass on the edge too, Connor. I don't see it today, which obviously it's got colder out now. I drill that thing really slow too. That's how I've been catching them recently. I've been catching some good fish on the chatter donk. Is that how you work or you just working it slow? Yeah. I've been letting it hit the bottom and just slow reeling it. Okay. That's how I've been killing like most of the big fish on it recently. So guys this is like a pond but at the same time it's like it's like a canal it's kind of weird how it <laughs> it stretches there's so many pieces of it that just walk down here so like once we hit those trees at the end you know if you keep going there's like a whole nother side of it like this i've had luck on both sides just hoping we can get them on a moving bait even on like some of the tough days recently i couldn't catch them on slow baits but i could catch them on this so that's why i'm like i have a ton of confidence in this right now Plus, this is like my big fish confidence bait. Oh. Dude, he was running at me so hard, bro. I'm talking like... I didn't even feel him, like, I, I did feel him bite. That was weird. Look at him, just letting me coast him in, dude. Well, there we go, guys. Look at that fatty, bro, a little, little belly on him. Look at that. I mean, that was pretty quick. Well, there we go, guys. We got, <laughs> we got a fish in the first five, 10 minutes right there. That's perfect sign, about a pound and a half. Good, healthy fish. It's good to see that they're healthy. Just thick body. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for biting. There we go. That's the start. You got to start somewhere. I felt like a, a weird tick and all of a sudden I lost all pressure. He's just running. So he like hit it and just ran right towards me. He was in the shade over there. Yeah. I got, I'm, look at this. So I'm like pretty slow, not extremely slow, but not fast, you know, about what you're doing. Look, you see that? Yeah, that was a blow up. 
We were gonna catch them pretty good. That was a weird bite, man. I haven't had one do that. It looks like they might be chasing bait right there, Connor. I'm gonna throw it over there. I can beat this thing a country mile. That's cast like almost my whole spot. Well, there we go, guys. All you need is a start, and that's what we needed. He wasn't big, but he's a nice little fish. Right here, this little pipe looks saucy. Saucy. Boys, I want to see a freaking, at least an eight. I want to see a trophy. We want to see a trophy bass today. That's what the kicking their bass fam wants to see. I know you guys do. Last time I fished around my house was about a month ago and we caught a six pounder. So we, we had one that was up there. But I want to see like an eight plus. If you guys saw one of the last videos I fished with Fletcher, I had a monster on. Freaking monster. You guys need to go watch it. It's fishing a hundred year old trophy pond. You guys need to go see that video. So it's a banger. one thing i just did here guys so we got this whole all these pipes up here in front of us i could technically make a beautiful cast towards that first pipe over there but the reason i don't want to is because if i cast up there and catch a fish and i'm fighting him and he's splashing around right here any fish that's on this bank right here to my right side might get spooked so what i'm doing is i'm fishing in front of me i just got hit right there I'm fishing in front of me right here in this corner before I make that long cast to see if I can pull a fish out over there. So I'm trying to catch the fish that are here up close on me before I make that money cast over there and, and spook these off. It's just a good way to kind of multiply your fish catches. Just kind of thinking smart before you make the cast type thing. Because, you know, if I hooked one over there and he made a big ruckus, you know, whatever fish is on this bank could potentially get spooked. Yeah, so these fish have traveled throughout these canals too. You know, they can go through those pipes right to the next one. Yeah, they connect to the other ones. All right, guys, at the other side of this. Doesn't that look good? That looks saucy. Yeah, this is where I saw that iguana. That was crazy. It's crazy to think about, guys. Oh, did you get slammed? Go for it, throw, throw back in there. What, did you just grab the back of it? Oh, I feel like I might have had him, but I was reeling it. Oh, throw back in there. I'll throw this after you, just to see if he wants this color. He probably ate it and you didn't feel that blade thumping. He probably just loaded up on it. Yeah. That's what they usually do. They'll just kind of load up on that chowder on it. He bite you again? No, I was just popping it yeah. off. Yeah, see, this one's a little more, got more trees and stuff on this side. That's why I like this side a little better. I've, I've had a little more luck. I caught the big one on that side, but this side I feel like I've had just a little more luck with. Yep, he's right there, dude. That's a big one. Yep. That's a big one, dude. Oh, oh, dude. Oh, my gosh. Can you, can you help me land this? Dude, it's a monster, Connor. It's a, oh, dude. Dude, that's a mega, dude. That is a mega. That is a mega. Oh, wherever, dude. Wherever. He choked it, too, bro. Grab that thing. Grab that thing. Oh, my gosh. Giant, dude. Let's go. Dude, that's a tank. Look at him choking. Look at that. Oh, you got him in the tongue there, too. Oh, dude, that's a giant, bro. He wanted that thing. Let's go, dude. Look at that, guys. Haven't been to this pond in like four years. And what would you say? That's a five pounder. Yeah, I mean, dude, cool. look at how he ate that thing, too. Wow. What a freaking mega. That's a fish there. Dude, I knew when I hooked that he was big, bro. He was in. He was kind he of was right there, right? You know what's crazy, dude? You threw so many casts right there. I threw that one cast right there in that little corner. Well, there we go, guys. That's our second fish of the day, and it's a freaking giant. It's crazy, man, because that's what we're going for today are these big bass and to get a solid five pounder right there i mean that is that's something man that is something it, it just feels good when you come to a place that you haven't been to in a while and you just end up hooking one like this you believe me there's big ones in here don't you there are 
They're in here. They're the last time I came, I caught a tent. I just happened to not come back. They're in here, man. Freaking tank. And that is a way to start off the video. We are, we, the day hasn't even started, guys. And we're catching fish like this. Let's get this beauty back in the water. This is what we were looking for, searching for these giant bass today. We got our first big one. Now it's time for you to get one, Connor. Yep. We're going to get you one here. And then, guys, we're going to pond hop to a lot of juicy ponds. I don't know what it is around this time of year when it gets cold out, but some of these big bass just bite. That is a toad, buddy. You ready to catch one? Absolutely. Just got to find them. It's a good wow. Fish. There she goes, man. That's a freaking tank. That first one wasn't much to talk about, but that's a big one, man. Give me some. Let's get back in there. That was a fish, bro. She should have had a fish chatterbait better. Like, I've never really fished them. Really? Unless I'm with you. That's honestly like the only time I've fished them. It's just kind of, it's one of them things of just getting confidence with it. I wonder, I don't think that's the same fish that bit you. No. I got it about four foot off from that pipe. Okay. Like you were, you cast it out, your bait, you were just pulling your bait out of the water. So I just made this small flip. And it, I mean, you know what that is? he hammered it. Shopping what? cart. No way. I caught him off a she shopping a, cart. It is a shopping cart. <laughs> that's crazy. Dude, that's crazy. That's the title of the video. I caught a big one off a shopping cart. That's crazy. Listen, I'm putting all my eggs in a basket today. The places that we hit have, they got them, man. Do you like the random patches of grass? There's usually a lot of that grass. Guys, we're making it. There he is. Yeah, it's a big one. I think it's a big one. I think it might be two pounds. He hammered it, dude. Felt big. He had me all awkward, dude. I was like on my left side. Well, there we go. That's the third fish. I was just about to tell you guys we made it to this corner, and before I could even get it out of my mouth, I already had that one bite me. Not a bad one, like a pound and a half. He felt big. I, I just couldn't tell because he was running sideways. This corner's really nice. There we go, guys. Third fish today. We're not having a bad, bad day. I had a pretty good start. I've been here for probably like an hour caught three fish we have many more big fish spots to hit today so thank you buddy for biting he freaking slammed it dude i was like all awkward there because i had to pull to the left i'm like right arm dominant so it just felt weird and i couldn't catch up with him he was just running they seem to be biting pretty decent when i fished in atlanta a few days ago it was bad bro it was really tough also guys this is the one i was using i always put them back in my bag that's you know, not good to litter Put your baits back in your, in your bags. Don't be throwing them on the ground. That's what gets fishermen a bad rep, you know. People don't like, people don't like people littering, you know. Put your bait away and throw it away later. I'm just gonna rig this basic swim bait, just a little white one, a little white paddle tail on the back of this thing, just like that. Look at that, perfect. That's money. That's a, that's a killer bait right there. Any nibbles? See, this would be, this little canal right here would be nasty, like a little jig, like flipping on the edge of that. I'm gonna go in this corner. Oh, dude. So imagine pulling like a 10 pounder out of this little puddle. Did you? What you got, Connor? I'm gonna throw For the this people. thing. Rage girl? What got going on? It's on upside down. Don't follow my lead here. <laughs> we'll work with it though. Hey, that's money. Give it a shot. Color's good too, that like June bug in this dirty water. Yeah, that looks good. If you guys wanna check out any striking baits, got a discount code down below as well. All right, yeah, let's send it, dude. We got an hour of daylight, guys. I totally forgot that it gets dark so early. It's like 4 20 right now it's gonna get dark around 5 30 so we got to make a move we're gonna hit some more ponds i didn't realize how late it was i thought it was like three so i will catch y'all at the next spot two weeks later been about a month since y'all have seen me come out here you know this isn't a place that i fish a ton but 
you know, about a month ago, I came out here and ended up catching like a six pounder right here and some other really good fish. So we're gonna try to get something started today. Hopefully they're gonna be biting pretty good. Skip a little bit under this walkway. And we're gonna fish out in front of it a little bit. That's usually where a lot of those big ones are. Let's see if we can get some really big ones today. That's the main goal. Come on, big bass. We want a big one. We want a big and big one right here. Right on the edge of this bridge. I know there's a big one out here. Okay, we going through the mess. Pond hopping, boys and girls. That's what we're getting after today. Let's see if we can catch some big ones now. Some big. Today seems like one of those days. Some big ones will be biting. Right there. There he is right there. Yes. All right, first fish, not a bad one, a two pounder. We'll take it. We got to start somewhere and we got a nice little fat bass. You ate that thing good too, buddy. Thank you for biting. Ate that thunder cricket right on the edge of that grass. Right where he should have actually just ripped my swim bait. Beautiful fish to start off today. Look how thick and healthy this bass is. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for biting. <laughs> There he goes. That's a way to start off. Now we got to change our swim bait. So we're just rocking this KVD Perfect Plastics Blade Minnow. This is my favorite Chatter Donk trailer. They usually don't rip or tear up easy. So I only brought two of them with me. But that one was just a freak accident on my part. I freaking ripped the tail off of my finger when I was getting the hook out. Yeah, we're just rigging it up on the back of this white and chartreuse chatter donk very clean and basic just like that and that's a beauty that is how we've been catching them. and recently you know what we've been doing is just throwing this chatter donk on the edge of grass and just slow reeling it i'm talking very slow he ate it pretty close to the bank too it's like he was falling it in only problem that I'm having right now in this spot in particular is just all the pine straw there's a lot of pine straw in here if you get that thing on your your bait just like that you do not want that those fish aren't gonna bite you got a big old piece of pine straw hanging on but the trick today is just really moving this bait pretty slow as slow as we really can because a lot of these ponds are per they're fairly shallow and they got a lot of grass on the bottom so it, it can be a little hard to reel this bait as slow as we're wanting but as slow as i can really get this bait to where it's still thumping and i'm not picking up a ton of crap on the bottom that's the trick to getting some of these good fish to bite even pausing it and letting this bait fall so this is like the new tungsten head by strike king on the thunder cricket and when this bait falls i don't know if you guys can see in that water it just straight down and kind of spirals so that can trigger up a bite sometimes so i'll be reeling this bait pretty consistent you know nothing crazy and then i'll just pause it and let it drop and sometimes they'll bite it i mean i was down in florida last week that was a great way to catch them you know it gives it that sporadic movement and those fish will usually commit let's keep on covering some water fishing some of these grass lines let's see if we can get some bigger ones Can't tell if one just bit me or if I hit something on the bottom there. I don't know. That might have been a bite. Could have just grabbed the back of it. 
should be a couple fish on this grass line. It's a great spot for a little bass to sit, or big bass. There's a big one in front of this pipe. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Not a bad one. Not a big one, but not a bad one. It's right where I thought he was going to be. That's why I walked down here. You got like no cover it sets up how some of those other ponds are look how he ate that you got like zero to no cover other than like structure on the bottom and then you have some trees right here in the back of this pocket it makes sense for fish to be there thank you buddy sure enough first cast up here i got bit i bet you there's more i bet they're loaded up how much you don't want to bet we get one right here there's a lot of pine straw it's hard to get through a lot of that right here So when you got a pond that just doesn't have a ton of cover and then you got one good piece i mean there's gonna be more than one fish on there i guarantee it especially one that size I can't even believe there wasn't another one. I think if I could make a better cast, the pine straw is just patched up over there. I can't even get my bait through to actually vibrate and thump. Crazy that there was only one fish. That's one to bite right there. And you think I could throw right there and get slammed? There's a boil right behind me. It might just be small, you know. I'm throwing this chatter dong. This is primarily a big fish bait. You know, fish really needs to be a pound and a half to eat it, I'd say at least. So maybe there's just some small ones up there. Ooh, look at that foil. Probably a carp. <clears throat> if that wasn't a carp, that was a freaking monster. I don't know why he didn't eat me. Whoa. Laughter right there. 